Okay, in this video, um, I had a question uh, basically in re uh, reference to getting online with a Kinetic 6000 uh, drive with Ethernet. What I wanted to show you is how, how everything's set up. So first off, and, and uh, you, we, you know, we've all been through the training, right? So we've all been through the, the training course where you've seen me set up all the uh, real world IO into the chassis or into the um, control logics uh, program that we're running. So um, basically you see the way it's laid out. You know, you have a back plane, you have your controller, you have your uh, motion access card right here and you have your uh, circus network right here. So this would be our actual drive. Um, similar to that, if you looked in RS links, which again, I've, I made of uh, ethernet driver in here and in my ethernet driver, um, basically all I did was go up here and select the e, um, ethernet uh, slash IP, IP driver. What I did with that, uh, this driver actually, uh, you know, finds itself or it finds everything you're connected to uh, within your IP range of your computer or whatever device you're, you're using. Of course, um, which, you know, laptop, what I mean by that, laptop, desktop, whatever. Um, so uh, with that said, you know, you drill down to your your card you're using. Uh, then it shows your back plane. And your back plane, you would look for the 1756 uh, M16, uh, yeah, M16 uh, ES, which would basically be your, your Cerakos network card. You drop that down and then you would see your uh, kinetic servo drive. Now the kinetic servo drive at this point, um, you know, it says configure driver. All you can do, that's just configuring your driver up here. Um, then you can look at the, uh, come, uh, the device properties. You can see that the servo drive that is running is a uh, revision of 1.136. Uh, you can tell what device it is. You can tell uh, just about everything else about it. The EDS file. Um, that's really about the the you know the gist of that. Uh, now, as far as getting online with the Seracos via Ethernet, um, you know it it I don't see where that is um, is going to be. You know, I'm not sure if you're you're referring to. The person who asked this question is referring to the drive tools. Drive tools is going to want you to be um, connected directly to the drive itself. Um, unlike a PowerFlex drive or a um, like a well, I will, yeah, let's just say a PowerFlex drive, a PowerFlex seventy, a PowerFlex seven hundred, a PowerFlex seven, a PowerFlex four forty whatever the case may be, where you can communicate via Ethernet. If you go to um, connect to drive up here and you try to connect to it, what's going to happen is, again, you want to drill down to your card, right? And you want to go to the card you're using. In our case, um, it's the uh, 192.168.15. Um, again, the back plane. Um, sorry, I clicked that a little too soon. So we'll have to wait till that fails and then we'll come back and uh, I'll show you that you, you know, the main thing I'm getting at is you're not going to be able to get online with a Kinetic 6000 drive via Ethernet. Okay, so, um, and again, we have that uh, pop up. So let's go to connect to drive, go in here and we'll go through our Cerakos card. Our Cerakos card, we can find the Cerakos or, or we can find the actual Kinetics drive and hit OK. Well, what's going to happen is going to come back and say there's an error. Um, if you look that error up in um, Knowledge Base, it will basically tell you that you cannot uh, do what you're trying to accomplish. You need to be set up. That's why every time you've seen me do this in the past, I've been on my DF1 driver which uses the 1203 USB. Um, that's just because of the fact of uh, what I'm using. Uh, you know, I, I understand that, you know, it, it's easy and um, to be able to use Ethernet and, and look at these drives. 
But again, this is a Cercos drive. This is a Kinetics drive. This is not a SIP motion drive. This is so you have to understand that this actually talks through uh, Cercos. Now, being that you can see it, you think you know you would one would think that you can actually get online with it just like that. Well, you can get online with it. There is a serial port on top of the uh, Cercos itself, or the top of the uh, Kinetics 6000 drive itself. But you have to have the 1203 USB or a compatible module to be able to talk to that. And at that point, it is a serial connection. Therefore, you're using the ABDF1. Um, the ABDF1 driver is able to um, use be used with that uh, that 1203 USB. And again, you should be able to to get online with drive tools with that. Um, in, in, in my training, I showed that I think in, in one of the earlier modules, you know, and if it, you know, I do, I do know that's on my, uh, YouTube channel as well. So if you were to look up, you know, connect to a kinetic 6,000 drive via, uh, via, uh, via 1203 USB, you would see that. Um, and I know, you know, that's just, uh, just a Google click away. So. You know, if you got on my uh, YouTube channel, which is Shane Welcher um, uh, on YouTube, and then basically you just type in 1203 USB, uh, you would see that video. Um, I'm not sure if I threw that in the training or not, but again, already, I had previously had that on the, the YouTube channel, so it's not fair to say that it should be in the course, being that uh, obviously that was already out there. But just know that you cannot use your Ethernet um, again, this is not sit motion. This now, if it were sit motion, you could do that. Um, there, there's some things that you can do differently in sit motion that you can't do with Cercos. Just wanted to kind of to make a quick video on that and show um, what you should and uh, shouldn't be doing. So, again, that was a question that came up uh, in the message through the uh, the course, and I just want to actually um, make a video about it. So, hopefully, that helps more than uh, just the person that asked the question. Okay, so um, I hope everything's going well and uh, appreciate the feed, uh, feedback and I appreciate you being a part of uh, the course and taking it. So um, thank you again and keep on with the course and hope everything's going well.